In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Peterbilt 387 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Peterbilt 387 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, this is available at the Man Dealer, M A N Dealer. Uh, so we'll just spin it around. Where is it? Where's that logo? Where it is? It? There it is. There. There we go. Uh, and you should be able to get it there. Now, let's go jump into customized configuration and check it out. Now, first of all, we have a look at the cabin. There is only one cabin for this. Uh, there is three different kinds of chassis to choose from now. Well, it's not the chassis really, it's the fifth wheel changing position. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll have a look up the back here. Now there's the fifth wheel there, it's uh, fifth wheel close, fifth wheel far as you can see, and fifth wheel in the middle. I'm just going to leave it in the middle. Alright, so now off to the engines and there is a heap of engines to choose from. Now we've got Packer, we've got Cat, we have Cummins. There we go. So there's a fair few to choose from there. So it's ranging from 485 up to 700 horsepower I saw there. Yeah, up to 700 horsepower. So a nice, uh, well, a pretty good selection, I, I think. So we're going to leave it on Packer and see how that goes. Now off to the transmissions. You do get a ton of transmissions here. Eaton full at 10 speed, 13 speed. You've got the Mac M drive, uh, and that's in 12 speed. You've got uh, Eaton Fuller again, there's M drive. The Maxi Talk 10 speed, uh, six speeds there. Um, what was that? That's an Allison 4500. Uh, more Eaton Fullers, Al yeah, so there you go. There's plenty, plenty there. Maxi Talk 18 speed. Let's try the Maxi Talk 18 speed this time, see how that goes. Right now off to the interior. Now there is a few different choices here for the interior. We get that one there and it's got like a little, I don't know, little computer there and little computer there. Exclusive which has your wood grain. And then you get your standard which doesn't have those computers in there. And there is the standard with the wood grain. So there we go. I'm going to go with that one there. We'll try the wood grain and see how that fits. Now off to the paint jobs. Now, this is absolutely astonishing. The amount of paint jobs. I do believe that it was something along the lines of 50 paint jobs in total. That is a lot of paint jobs. Uh, I'm just going to flick through some of them, but as you can see, they're very nicely done. All of them are very, very well made. They're not sloppy or anything like that, so the detail is there. Um, and yeah, there's it's there's plenty to choose from here. Uh, I even saw Swift in here. There it is. There's Swift for those of you. There's the test one. So if you want to add your own, you can just add it to that. Make it real easy. Uh, that one there, I didn't mind that one. I thought that looked pretty good for this truck. Um, Warner. There's heaps of Warner ones. Then uh, we've got your standard colors in here. So if you just want to have it your plain sort of colors. There we go, plenty to choose from. Uh, yellow, and there's orange. I actually don't mind the orange. And there's the sunshine yellow, which more looks to me a little bit orangey, but anyway. Um, and then we have your custom color. So if you're not happy with any of those colors, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, you can go for any of the custom colors. And of course, there is the custom metallic. Now, uh, let, let's go and try that. We'll put that on black because that seems to be the easiest to see. Uh, there is the second one, black. And there is the third one. And look at the flip flake as well. You can see the detail. That is very nice done. Uh, the flip flake there. If you get up really close, you can see just the little flickers. That's, that's great. That's really good. They're not too big, not too small. They're perfect. Right, so let's go off, uh, what color am I going to choose? Well, I think I'm going to go, I don't know, sunshine yellow. I was more hoping for an orange, really. You know, like a Peterbilt orange. So I'm going to go custom color and let's go and change that to a, a custom orange. 
Which I'm wondering, is it going to look like gold? It might look like gold with this. No, that looks terrible. We'll put it there. And... There we go. See, that doesn't look too bad. Not bad at all. There we go. Um, now, go to the accessories, which... There is a lot of dots here, guys. Now, I do apologize in advance if I do miss any dots. Just to let you know, there is there is plenty of accessories here, okay? So we're going to try and focus on a singular area and see if we can do that. Okay, so there is the lower grill guard. And you can go and add on a whole heap of different lights and other stuff as well. So say, for example, on the side there, if you want to add a lollipop, you can do. Um, if you want to add them there, you can. But there's also other light positions there as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there was two to choose from. So there's that one there, which is a little bit wider. And then there's that one, which sort of blends in a bit better, which I think that one was a lot better. Uh, then we have the bumper there, or the bull bar. And you can get anchor points. And I like this. I really do like this. Look at that. It fits in perfectly. I don't know what the difference is between those two, but they fits in perfectly. Not so good. Michelin Man looks like he's stuffed in there, which somebody's been real mean to him. Uh, but I think those ones there look really, really good. The way that they're put in there. Very nicely done. Look at that. Now, um, there is bull bars and stuff that you can add on there, which we saw. I'm not going to put a bull bar on this one today. But just showing you as well, there's other bumpers that you can choose. And there's that one there. And there is a rhubar, which is something that I think looks really, really cool. I really do like that on this truck. And there's heaps of anchor points as well. But the reason why I'm not going to put this on is because it's not really an Aussie truck so it's more of an American truck so let's put that on there like that now up to the grill there is the grill there there is now I love how you can select all of these different grills I mean that is great look at that that really is superb so there you go that one I like the best but uh, there is other ones there if you want to choose them probably let's choose that one actually that looks nice uh, then we go up to the next one, the front mirrors. You can add front mirrors on there if you want. Um, remember, guys, if you do have problems with this truck, uh, and any truck uh, where you've got a low-end PC, you just remove the mirrors. It's very simple. Uh, Going to leave them off. Now, you can put on a ferry on the dash. If you want to have a ferry, if you're feeling that way, then there you go. You can put that on there. Not really my thing, but anyway. Um, then we have the... Uh, wind, a bug deflector there, or wind deflector, whatever it is. I think it's called a sun visor here, so depends where you come from, really, doesn't it? What you call it. Uh, then we have stripes down the side. Now, this will allow you to add as many different lights and dots and whatever else you want on there. Uh, not today. We're not going to do that today. But uh, if it wins the weekly drive, I'll have to get in there and I'll have to add a whole heap in there. Now, over there is the mirrors. You can change chrome or paint. I'm going to leave them on paint for this. There's the co-driver's plate. There is a table for the inside there. There is the driver's plate. And there is a... It says... What's it say? Glass toy. It says glass toys. Um, and that's for inside there. It's a slot. We'll come and have a look at that later. There is a deflector. Now, that is a wind deflector. I love these. I think they're great. So, put that in there. Then up the top there, you've got your sun visor, you've got chrome or paint. I'm going to leave it on paint. Uh, I'm liking the paint better on this truck. So it's up to you. It really is what you want to do. Um, extra mounting points. I love that. I love how you can put extra mounting points. And this is all the stuff you can put in there. Look, it is just packed with accessories you can put on there. Just going to put those on there for today. There we go, the raw now try not to lose our spot so we were up there we've done that now going down is the bracket there is some brackets you can add on here and you can go and put beacon lights remember what you do to one side you do to the other otherwise it will look stupid there we go there's some beacon lights on there 
and we'll check to see if they work and yes they do very nice moving a little bit down there we have the fenders you can go and put on chrome fenders or if you just want black you can can you take them off yeah you can take them off too so there you go now that there is uh, that's the side it says side blinkers there we go so you can remove the side blinkers there we'll leave them and then there is pipes that's the going along the side there you can add a whole heap of different dots and that along the side there it's like an extra guard isn't it really under there and then we have that there which I it seems to be affecting the window there see that so I'm not sure what that means that's in Russian or something so I'm just gonna leave that but it is affecting the window there that's the fenders there we go there's the lights there now up the back here is the mud flaps now we'll spin it round because uh, it's no point looking at the mud flaps from that that direction now here you can go and add in your own different lights or dots or whatever you want you there's heaps to choose from and but we're not going to go into that and then here you can go and do the same as well if you wanted to also remove it now uh, unfortunately if you do go and do that and you want to change it to one of the other ones you have to go back which is what we just did and then there's that one there which I quite like um, so you got the three there that one there the default one and there's that one there I like that one um, yeah I'll put that default one on there there we go spinning it around there's that light again don't forget that now for the rims and tires let's spin that around so we can see that so uh, there is extra rims and tires in here you've got Diamax depending on what you choose Continental let's put the Continental on and then you can go and choose different rims so I'll try and get in as close as I can there's those rims there the um, the Dayton now if you're going to choose Dayton make sure you choose Dayton nuts the Dayton hub and there's no cover for it but make sure that you've removed the cover or anything like that so it's not there okay now other rims that we have here are this rim here which I don't mind that that is a gloss black with milled spokes I actually like that one but make sure that you change that as well so we just check that uh, gloss black there we go with the milled spokes and gloss black with milled spokes okay so there you go so that looks much better now that we've got that on there and remember not to put that on because it looks uh, a bit silly right so there we go that is that now for the rear let's go and check this out I'll spin that around this way so it makes it easier there we go now uh, let's check those rims there's those rims there that you can put on there's the steel ATS and there is the gloss black now uh, put the tires the correct tires on which I'm gonna use the Continental and yes they look fine uh, I actually really do like those ones those rims the uh, gloss black with milled spokes so I think they're really cool uh, but just remember to make sure you got your nuts are the right nuts because if you got the wrong nuts on there it's gonna look stupid so there we go we put our nuts on there and the hub need to put the right hub on there which is that one there and um, when we get to the yeah, make sure they're off as well All right, what I'll do up the back here I'll show you this other rim which is the Dayton uh, take that out and we want where is it is it that one no that one there Dayton there and there we go Dayton hub so that's what the the hub there looks like and you can paint it too so if you don't like it the certain color you can paint it so that's pretty good and then your cap you don't worry about that but the rim that I'm choosing today is going to be the milled milled one there and we will put on those nuts and where is it uh, there we are there that's the one there I actually like those on this truck I think they're pretty cool 
Right. Uh, oh, the tyre. I didn't put the Continental tyre on, did I? There we go. That looks much better. So, I think that I have got all the dots there. Now, apologies in advance if I have missed any. Um, and there we go. There's that there. This, the pipes. That's right. I couldn't read that, but it was uh, something inside there. I think it's like a, a reflection thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. But there we go. Let's have a look on the inside now. Now over here, we have, that is the wind deflector. And then we've got the main mirror there, which you can go chrome or paint. Up the top there, oh that's that thing right there we go. It's a strip across there for the sun, to help you with the sun. So we'll leave that in there. Uh, then we have the GPS if we want to put that in there. Uh, driver's plate there is some toys if you want to add toys in there you can go and add some toys whatever you want so there's some stuff from sizzles there's a web the the webcam a dash cam sorry um, you can add that in there um, one one slot bracket so the one slot bracket there you can go and add in like your galaxy CB in there um, that was visor and then we have you know your, your uh, little dingly dangly toys and stuff like that so your dice or whatever um, that there is your table now you can go and add on any of your accessories or whatever you want phones there's heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff in there that you can add so uh, I'm gonna put on sunglasses on there there we go co-driver's plate what was that? That was another GPS there. Uh, that is your hood accessory. Sun visor. I don't know why that's there, but anyway. it's Oh, no, that's your um, the wind, bu wind deflector, bug deflector, whatever. What's that there? I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's... Oh, that's from the outside there on the front. So, yeah, we'll just leave that. And there is your bumper. That there is your CB slot. You can have a CB there or up there. Or we'll just put another one in there. doesn't matter. Two CBs going, extra sound, stereo. Uh, then there's the mirrors again, looking up and around. I think the interior looks really nice in this. Um, then we can spin around there and have a look. Very good, very good indeed. Uh, that was the bumper, and that's that, that's that, that's everything. Right, let's confirm this. Again, guys, if I have missed anything, I do apologize. Uh, I try my hardest to see everything, but I don't always see it all, so... Uh, do a trade-in on there. Because these mod reviews are just to give you an idea of what this mod is like. Um, even though I do miss some, it doesn't make a big difference, really. It's, it's sort of... It's nothing like um, it's going to stop the mod or anything, so... It's just to give you an idea. Right, there we go. This is Schmick. Look at that. That is really, really nice. Very nice indeed. Wow. And just spinning it around there. Right, that is really cool. I, I love the look of that. I really do love the look of that. Now I'm just going to change the, the seat here. I've I'm finding it's just preference here that it is a little bit too far forward for me. Oh, too far backwards, sorry. There we go. And jump on the outside. Now let's start her up and test it. Look at it. Look at that. That looks awesome. I love it. Voila. There we go. Very, very cool. Now, uh, let's test the lights. There's the lights. And uh, notice we're in patch 128 now. There's the high beams. They are working. And flashes. These trucks are looking so nice in 128. There's the brakes. And... There we go. There's reverse. I found reverse. Took me a bit, but I found it. 
Um, and they're what? Wipers. Let's test wipers. There we go. Wipers are working. Great. Uh, horn. Yeah, that's the air horn. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, beacons. There we go. We got disco. Yes. And then I think that is pretty much it for there. Let's jump on the inside. And there we go. Uh, flashes are working. Wipers are working. Uh, everything's working. The, the, the gauges look really nice in this. There we go. Let's go and take it for a spin, shall we? Oh, that is... That is definitely nice to drive. There's the banana brake. Put that brake on. And, um, I mean, just in the first five seconds, you can tell if it's good or not. You really can. This is nice. I hope they bring this to American trucks. Oh, so smooth. Oh, listen to the sound effects. <laughs> that is really, really nice. very nice indeed well I'm I'm actually quite impressed with this truck guys just from driving it having a look at it look it, it really is well done very nicely put together um, if you would like to grab a copy of this and have a go yourself uh, the link is in the description so feel free to uh, download that and give it a try but guys it's not up to me to make the decision whether this is worthy of the weekly drive it's up to you if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Punch that like button in the ass, and uh, that will tell me that you would like to see it in the weekly drive, which it's very important to have your vote, guys. Make sure you do have your vote. What is that? What was that? Did you see that? Bouncing up and down there? I have no idea what that was, but anyway, that was weird. <laughs> um, guys, if you... If you um, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. Uh, there it is again. What was that? That was weird. <laughs> and while you're there, why don't you hit that sub subscribe button? What is that? Look, there it is. What the? F <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like a dot or something going from side to side. There it goes. Oh, am I seeing things or what? I don't know. Maybe I am. It's weird. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I lost my train of thought there. Um, so, yeah, while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.